Welcome to the new bioengineering facility located on the south end of campus. It's a four-story research facility with three colleges involved, the College of Natural Science, the College of Human Medicine, and the College of Engineering. The floor is designed after neurons in the brain to look like neurons in the brain. We've got collaboration nodes throughout the first floor. These are our floating cubes. These are two cubes that are used as office spaces. If you go up on the second and fourth floor, they're actually conference rooms with technology in them. We're inside the floating cube. This is all set up for technology. It's got four monitors. It's got in-desk connectors for any technology you got. And on the wall back here, we've got back painted glass for dry erase board. Here is the soft seating breakout space. This is a collaboration space that faculty and students can use. It's a nice comfortable setting to exchange ideas and information. Nearly all the lighting in the building is LED for energy efficiency. We're actually able to control that remotely from central control. The shades are automatic and they're controlled by the amount of light that comes in from the exterior of the building. They raise and lower based upon the conditions outside. Here we are in one of the eight research labs. The furniture is all modular and can be changed up based on the research need. As you walk, the lights turn on, they're motion censored. Here we are in the glass wash and sterilizer room. There's one of these located on each floor. All four floors have the same basic layout pattern. We got the research that happens in the center of the building, flanked by the PI offices, principal investigator offices, and then the outside walls, the glass curtain walls or window walls are where the students write up space is at. If you were to take the building, cut it down the center, uh, the mirror image from the north would be the same to the south. 